That hole I showed you, I bet it goes through here. See, if I had more than one person, we'd get opposite sides and shine the light through. Be like, can you see my light? The map doesn't show that much detail. The map is just designed for navigating. It's not a 3D model. But look at this. Panning down, it's like a cross tube here. So I'm gonna go down here very carefully. Luckily the rocks have good traction. Okay, yeah, you see? Wait, I'm gonna have to put my backpack down so I can do this without getting my backpack all dirty. But look at this. I'm trying to avoid getting all muddy. There's like mud on the floor here and it ain't pretty. Looks like there's some cave back there. And then over here, wow. This is all covered in mud. Oh wow, it's a dead end, but that's a pretty ceiling. If it was drier, I'd probably crawl back there and check it out. But you know what? I'm not here to get myself covered in mud. Okay, so there's the way back out. Pack up my backpack again. It's my safety blankie. Makes me feel safe. So now I can just walk straight ahead. Now the video looks a little bit green because of the low light, but also, you know, the ceiling really is green. For comparison, look at this where the ceiling broke down. Huh, a couple of nice little shark tooth formation. A little bit sharp. Okay, so this hill here, this is what they call the elephant's rump. Interesting floor here too. So for whatever reason, they want to call this the elephant's rump. That's the way I came. There's another way over here. I'll worry about that on the way back out. I'm still not at the lower end of the cave, you know. Here's a pile of rocks, in case you were wondering. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Look at this. There's a way up here. So before I waste too much time, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video, see if it looks like it's worth crawling up there.